We're stepping outside and hitting the trails. This week, it's a two-for-one deal as we head north. Our first stop, Mille Lacs Cathios State Park in Onamia. We are at one of the features of the state park, which is a fire tower that was built in the park for monitoring wildfire many, many years ago. After climbing up the 100-foot observation tower, your reward is an amazing bird's eye view of the area. This is the place where it's gonna take your breath away, literally and figuratively. You're gonna get a good workout on the way up to the top of this, and then your breath is just gonna be taken away as you're looking at the 360 degree views of the park. Mille Lacs Cathio State Park is one of the richest archeological sites in the state of Minnesota, dating back 9,000 years. So you'll see a lot of um, historic sites along the path. Some are mound structures, which were used in burials, and then you'll find some other structures too. So let's take a walk along the trail. This land has been home to the Dakota Nation as well as the Ojibwe Nation. They nestled in around, in and around Ogechi Lake and the Rum River, all of which kind of fall within the statutory boundary of Mille Lacs Cathio State Park. Our second stop is just down the road. Located about 10 miles away on the southern shore of Lake Mille Lacs is Father Hennepin State Park in Isle. Mille Lacs is one of our top 10 biggest lakes in the state of Minnesota and is known for its walleye and bass fishery. This is about a 320 acre park and this beach is about a quarter of a mile long. So plenty of uh, places to stretch out and enjoy uh, some family time. And also a really nice connection to the town, some of the small towns around the southern side of the lake um, via the Sioux Line Trail, which comes right into the park. Happy trails are just a short drive away.